Now let's take a look at Simulate 2015's scheduled maintenance feature. The first thing we're going to do is build up a simulation composed of three different activities. Next, we'll enable the calendar from the Data and Rules tab. By doing this, our scheduled maintenance feature will be able to reference a specific date and time that a machine needs maintenance performed on it. Now, I can double click on the clock to bring up its properties. I'm going to have it display the date so that we can reference this in terms of when our machines are shutting down. Now access the scheduled maintenance feature from the Data and Rules tab. I'll choose a simulation object, such as Activity 1. I'll enter the start period of the maintenance in a date-time format, and I'll do the same with the end. In this example, our maintenance will start in Activity 1 at 12 o'clock and end at 3 o'clock. I'm going to choose to have this period of maintenance repeat every day, and I could allocate a resource to perform this maintenance if I wanted to. There's also visual logic if you need this to trigger other events when maintenance starts or ends. Now, if we run the simulation, we should see that at 12 o'clock, Activity 1 will stop accepting work. This is because it's gone on its maintenance. And you can see that's exactly what happened. And at 3 o'clock, it will begin accepting work again. As we've put a repeat for one day, let's speed up the simulation and see what happens the next day. And again, at 12 o'clock, Activity 1 has shut down for maintenance, and at 3 o'clock, it's restarted. This will happen for the rest of your simulation.